All right, so we're just taking a look down the belly of the frog here. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. There's fans going in here to keep it cool. If you notice, a lot of these roots here, they've got all different range of roots, basically. We've got thick tap roots. We've got uh, nice fuzzy roots that are directly absorbing oxygen and nutrients and water. So we really have the best of both worlds. We're running on a cycle that's probably about eight seconds on and about three, four minutes off. It varies a little bit. I just kind of keep an eye on what the situation is calling for. Don't get stuck on one timer setting as being the best or the worst. It really depends on your exact configuration, how big certain roots are. Uh, if you need to go with a little bit longer time, you're not gonna hurt your plants. All you're doing is just giving them a little bit more water and you can always change that at any time. On this setup, we have a cycle timer running and when this pump kicks on here in a few minutes, we'll see the uh, high pressure mist. We're running about 80 PSI right now, and our mister heads are putting out 0.8 gallons per hour. And in this system right now, we have eight sprayer heads. So uh, you could power a lot more sprayer heads, but this seems to be about the optimal amount for me. I like to have areas that get direct spray, and then have areas that get a little bit more of a mist so on the far side of the sprayers, a lot of times you'll see a lot more mist than you will on the near side. But it seems to me that if the plant is able to choose one or the other, and it seems to be growing both in equal amounts, then obviously both ways are healthy for the plant. Otherwise, if you had aero mist on one side and direct spray on the other, you'd start noticing it, it would all be uh, distributed a little bit differently. So there's our mister going on. I don't know if you can see the, the spray there. Hopefully we're not getting it all over the camera lens. But uh, super fine mist. And of course we've got it on, like I said, about eight or 10 second on time, which uh, hey, to each his own. If you want to put an accumulator tank and a solenoid and uh, set this thing at a, a sub one second time cycle, we can do that as well. So it's really just what you are into. We're into plants that stay healthy all the way through the life cycle, so we prefer to have a little bit more runoff and not take a chance of burning up our roots. And we all know how warm it gets underneath your light sometimes. So if you can keep that area nice and cool down inside there, uh, I, I think that's a little bit more important than trying to go with the hothouse effect where you really do get more of the, the super fine fuzz on your roots. But uh, hey, it comes with a risk. So to each his own, we're, we're, we're not necessarily advocating one way over the other. We just have had better success keeping plants alive until the end with slightly more water as opposed to slightly less water.